What's going on everyone? It's Patrick from Purple Park Studios and today I am going to show you, in my opinion, the best way to key out green screen footage. Now you can do this in Blender and I have left a link in the description that will show you how to do it in Blender, but I think that the best way to get the cleanest key, the fastest way is to use After Effects. And there is a little, I like to say a little magic button in here in what we're going to be doing and I'll get to that. But the first thing you're going to want to do is bring in your green screen footage. If you don't know how to do that, you can go to File, Import, and then you can navigate into your computer. That's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to go through that in this video. But what you want to do is type in key up here at the top. And there's all these different options. There's keying, blue blur, green blur, key light, spill suppressor, miscellaneous, smoky, color, all this, all this different stuff. There's key light. The only thing we have to worry about here is the key light advanced spill suppressor and I'll pull this out. So it's key cleaner advanced spill suppressor. You want to drag this right onto your footage here. And the very first thing you do is you can grab the eyedropper tool and I found it's best to select the darkest area, although it's not always the case, but in this case, we're going to select the darkest area. And you can see there that like, it's super, super clean. And if you still have some of this green bleed, which you can't really notice on this clip, but a lot of times around like beards and hair, you'll get this little green bleed. So let me just uh, control Z this. If I actually select a brighter area, just for an example, you can see a little more up here. There's like this green bleed, like on my hair and stuff up here. So, and you can see in this screen here, I don't know if YouTube compression will get rid of that, but you can see that there is some green bleed here. And if that's happening to you, you can just go right down here to this advanced spill suppressor and just turn on the effect. And you can see all that green is gone. Here's before you can see the green, hopefully. And then after there's the green. Now, if you were just to render this out right now, when you put it into like a program like Blender and you're working with images as planes, which is if you're unfamiliar with what I'm talking about, I'll put a link in the description also. Or even if you're just going to be putting a background in here in After Effects, something simple, there's going to be some issues. And if we go to our intermediate result and we turn this from intermediate result to screen mat, we can see that it's not completely keyed out. Uh, there's not a true alpha channel happening here. So what we can do is we can go to screen mat and hit the drop down arrow. And we can grab this clip black and just start turning it up. I've turned mine up to about 38 here, and now you can see that it's all black. Now there is another problem. The part that you're keying out the green screen should be completely black, and anything you want to keep should be completely white for a very clean key. So I'm going to change this clip white from 100 to like 80. And you can see there that that's much better. But you got to be careful because if you go too far on either parameter of the clip black and clip white, watch what happens. Like say I was to put this to like 60 or for example, 40, you can see that now it's starting to bleed back in and vice versa. If I take this clip back up to like 80, you'll see now everything's gone. So you just gotta be careful not to push the parameters too far. You just wanna balance them until you get a very clean white and black, and that's all you should really have. And if you're having issues and it's not working for you. It's probably because you didn't light your green screen or your actor right and there's issues with shadows and stuff. So for example, I'll just change this from screen mat back to intermediate result. And if you don't have this transparent background on, you can actually just click this right here. I like to work with a transparent background just because sometimes you all notice things that didn't get completely keyed out, in which case you could use a mask but we're not gonna get into that in this video. But I hope that this video was helpful. If you don't have After Effects, you can get a free trial of it, but for like, I think it's like 20 bucks a month too, you can just pay for it. I mean, it kind of sucks that you have to pay for it every month, but I really like After Effects just for, mainly for using it to key out my footage. And I know you can do it in Blender, I know you can do it in Premiere Pro and you know DaVinci Resolve and other stuff. I just really like After Effects because it keys out my footage so clean. And I'm not like affiliated with Adobe or anything like that. I just really like the program, honestly, just for keying out green screen footage. And then I use Blender for literally everything else. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.